So I need you all to really understand something very loud and clear. Your mindset, your voice, what you allow yourself to hear, and the things that you continually allow yourself to be around will determine the outcome of who you are, what you are, where you go in life, and how you do things. Do not let your mindset, the negative Nancy's, the Debbie Downers, situations, opportunities that weren't meant for you, people, places, things, determine who you are, where you go in life, and what you're going to do. Remember, in the beginning was the word. The power of life and death is the tongue. You really have to be mindful of what you say, what you think, what you allow yourself to see, and what you allow yourself to hear. Man, what you put yourself around in life is what you want to get out of it. Understand that. Stop with the negative mindset. Stop with the ignorance of whatever it is you're going through. Forget about your past, man. You can't change what was yesterday. Yesterday was yesterday. Yesterday is never going to change. It's just, it was what it was. It's going to be what it's going to be. It's always going to be there. The fact of the matter is we focus on today and we're preparing for tomorrow. Stop focusing on the negative. Stop focusing on the pessimistic, the cynic, the unoptimistic, the unenthusiastic ways. How much more clear do we have to be? How much more clear do we have to put it? To make you understand that you are only as strong as the weakest link inside yourself. It's on, you're only going to go where you allow yourself to go in life. Again, what you allow yourself to see. What you allow yourself to speak. The power of the tongue. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. What you allow to go inside your mindset. What you continually think about from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. Wake up motivated. Dominating relentlessly. A dominating contender. Inspired. Optimistic. Enthusiastic. Empowered encouraged nevertheless never let anyone nothing shape form or fashion places things stop you from being who you're meant to be it is your choice make a choice to make a change you have that option we have choices god said be great we're kings we're queens we're not meant to be anything less than that understand it gorilla power train gpt 360 you're only strong as the weakest link inside yourself dominate relentlessly have a blessed night everybody be blessed god bless Deuce to another day, another way. It is what it is, always gonna be what it's gonna be. Do yourself a favor. Just give yourself one great reason why you should wake up in the morning and go at 150%, if not 200. Hit the gas and don't slow down. Why you should look forward and never look back. Why are you gonna become a juggernaut of this game and build that momentum and never stop? Why are you gonna smash everything in your path? Why are you gonna progress in your life? Why are you gonna take initiative to understand what you're meant to do in this world? Why you're not going to let any, no obstacles get in your way. Nothing, no places, no people, no things. Why are you going to continually strive for greatness? Why are you going to have the mindset of a king every day you wake up? Why are you going to always understand who you are and what you're meant to be in all aspects of you, physically, mentally, and spiritually? When you understand Gorilla Power Train, you understand the strength behind it and what it represents, that you're never going to quit, you're never going to give up, you're never going to settle for less, you're never going to stop moving forward, you're never going to give in to anything or anyone, you're never going to listen to the negative mindsets, you're never going to, you're always going to put yourself around the things and places and things you want out of life. So understand what you're meant to do in this world, understand what your greatness is, understand what your worth is, understand why it is you keep pushing forward. And at the end of the day, when you wake up, put your feet on that floor, Go through the course of your day, drive through that traffic, go deal with the work, go deal with the people at work. When you get home, deal with your family, deal with your kids, cook that dinner, do that laundry, clean that house, go through school, study, file the notes, whatever it is you do throughout the course of the day. Remember why you started from the beginning. Remember why you started in the first place and that will keep moving you forward. It's what, almost 12 o'clock at night and I'm still, I'm just getting out the gym. Now I got to go home and study, practice, gorilla power, train. Cause a mental or physical faculty to be sharp, discerning, and developed as a cause of instruction and practice. I'm going home now. I gotta eat some dinner, take a shower, read some scripture, study some notes. Probably be in bed by 2, 3 in the morning, wake up by what? Maybe 4.35 and do it again. That's just the way life is, man. Understand what your worth is in this world. At the end, it'll all be worth it. Put time in. Time, time, time. Time is of the essence. Make it count. 86,400 seconds of the day. How much of that can you utilize? Blessings, Gorilla Power Train, GPT 360. Deuce, come out.